Hello, and how are you doing? I hope it's good. I am, of course, Trent, and I am here for a commentary uh, Battlefield 3 gameplay this time. I just got this game. Um, didn't think I'd like it because of how big it is, but I realized that you can have smaller maps, which is nice. And uh, I definitely like this game. I'm not going to say I like it more than Call of Duty because I think it's a lot different in a lot of aspects, but I definitely enjoy this game, and I'm glad I got it. It's pretty fun, different, you know. But today is going to be one of those days where I decide that my head needs to be as fucked up as it physically can to keep running. And I just need to produce thoughts that make the average person want to kill themselves. So that's what's going to be going down today, of course. I'm going to be talking about a topic that it could happen to you. You know, you need to be careful. You need to be looking around every corner. You never know when this shit can happen. It's, I mean, it's serious, you know, you can't take advantage and make fun of something like this, so we're going to put uh, this in a scenario, right? And the scenario will help you better understand just what it would be like. So, you're going to have your first kid, you know, or your second kid or whatever, you know, but you're going to have a kid. You know, you're at the hospital, uh, this bitch that you had sex with, your wife, your girlfriend, the bitch that you had sex with, I don't know, whatever you want to do with your life. But, hopefully she consented though, that's all I gotta say. But, anyways, see, you were having sex with this bitch, she's pregnant, she had a baby, so your kid just got born, it's a boy, you know, that's nice, cool, we have a baby now. And uh, the doctor comes out and he says, we have a problem, you know, like, oh my god, uh, my baby's, something's wrong with him, his arms are missing, his arms are attached to his asshole. He doesn't have arms. I don't know, but there's something wrong. And somehow you think it's his arms, even though it could be anything, but I don't know. So You especially like arms, so as soon as you hear his arms might be missing, it upsets you a lot. So that's all you're aware of at the moment. So you're afraid, you don't know what's going down, and then he just says he has an issue with his body parts. He's got, he's got something a little bit large on him, and you're like, what could this be? I'm so confused with my life, what, what did I do wrong, How, what happened here, and then he tells you that you, your baby has an abnormally large dick, and you're like, what, is this serious, and like, part of you is proud, you're like, wow, my son, he has a big dick, you know, I'm proud of him, that's my boy, but like, when it's larger than yours, that's when it becomes a problem, right, like, his penis is at least nine inches long possibly even up to two feet you know this thing is dangerous sometimes when he's in his crib you run in of terror because you think a snake somehow got in his crib and then you just realize he has an extremely large penis i mean this is a crazy time in your life you don't know where to go with this you don't know how it's gonna work out all you know is that your baby has an extremely huge dick okay so and then it could lead to more problems you know like, you're just sitting there, and it, like, it comes to life sometimes and just starts to attack you. Like, it could be a danger to you, the rest of your family, you know? You gotta be careful during those things, you know? That thing's fucking dangerous, you know? Put it in a cage or something. Like, I don't even know. It'd probably be a danger to the baby, too. Like, when his dick is half of his body weight, I mean, that's kind of a problem, right? Like, what if he's sleeping in the middle of the night, you know, minding his own business, being a little baby that he is, the next thing you know, he rolls over and his dick flops on his throat and it's choking him. Like, this thing could be a dangerous, dangerous thing, you know? He's, like, choking to death and you're like, what could be wrong? And then you go in and you realize that his little dick, well, this huge dick, it's strangling him. Like, he's losing life due to the fact that he has an extremely large penis. And it's not until he gets older that he can learn how to tame that thing. Like, he'll probably have to go in classes, like, penis control 101 or something like that. I mean, it's a serious issue, you know? There's no way he can learn to control that thing alone. It's a dangerous weapon. I mean, once he got in airplanes, they would give him a pat down and they'd say he had a dangerous weapon on him until they realized that he had just had a large dick. And, like, what if that thing keeps growing? Like, what if it just gets to the point of where it's just one massive fucking destructive weapon of doom? You know, it could be used to destroy the world or something. The apocalypse might be on our hands. But you got to be careful around it. It could kill your baby. It could kill you. I mean, what if you're changing his diaper or something, and you open the diaper up and you forget about how big it is, and it just flops out and just hits you right in the eye, and then you got a bruised eye, you know... 
and then you, to your uh, buddies will say, hey, dude, what happened to your eye? Did you get in a fight? And you're like, well, I got into a fight with my baby, my uh, little son's dick. And then the next thing you know, you have a place on your door for pedophilia, and you're like, no, it's not that way. My son's dick just was in my face. And then it makes it even worse. Then they're like, what the fuck did you just say? And they're like, all right, officer, you need to quit fucking around here. I already told you, son's dick was in my face. You know, things happen. And they don't understand. They don't know your son's dick is so big. So then they take him into custody. He's in the daycare center. And everyone's playing with their blocks. And then he just comes over like Godzilla. And takes his humongous dick. And just starts twirling it around like a fucking helicopter. And flies in on it. And fucking starts smashing people's fucking blocks down and shit. Like he's fucking ruining kids fun and everything. All because he had a humongous dick. So there's something you gotta do in that situation, you know, maybe take some rope or chains or I don't even know, a lot of duct tape and just wrap that thing up and fold it in half so it's not as dangerous, you know? But that's about it that I have for you today. I'm gonna wrap it up now. I have a lot to do. I need to try to finish my work before my mom gets home because she said I have to have everything done and I don't have everything done yet. So therefore... I need to hurry up and finish it before she gets home and she realizes that I don't have everything done. And that I was a bad son and I betrayed her. So hopefully that'll happen soon. Anyone that plays with me, this is the game I'll probably be playing uh, for at least a little while yet before. Um, I'll play Call of Duty if that's all you got, but I mean, this is what I prefer playing at the time being. So um, as soon as I get my mic back, that is, because my mother took it away because she doesn't. Well, she did hear me saying that I was going to fist her in the asshole, but that's another commentary for another day. I want to wrap this up. Uh, thank you so much for watching. You know, I, of course, appreciate your support. You can like and subscribe for more videos like this or whatever. Uh, next video, I will get to the uh, workouts and, like, exercise thing I talked about before. But other than that, uh, that's all I got for you for now. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day. All right, peace.